Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, yeah, I haven't made a video in a few days. Um, the last video I made was about thermal paste. And of course, I um, have a few people that are a little pissed off, I guess, at me uh, for making a little too many videos. Well, uh, I'm going to try to lower the consistency, but I've always seen that I prefer people to make more videos. That's just me. Like when I watch The True Set and You Free, I mean, I just can't wait the moment that a new video comes out because I like to hear what he has to say. So I understand people are different and stuff, and I respect your views. So, I mean, don't say to be mean. I like con constructive criticism. It's uh, It really helps, and, you know, you shouldn't have to fear. If someone seriously doesn't like your video, it's good to know that they don't. Um, but, of course, when there's some stupid comments that come out that really piss me off, like um, uh, this one I think some of you guys are actually going to laugh about, is, um, again, on my Modern Warfare 2 does not cause the light of death. So this one, um, where is the comment here? I gotta just find it. Uh, where is it? All right here. He writes this. This is by Jackie Four. So it's F O R E. Um, yellow light of death is caused by C O D four. Period. It happened to me. He spells two with a number two. Um, B four with B and then the number four. Um, N. And you see, uh, most of these, these people that actually try to criticize me and stuff can't spell for shit. And I understand I can't spell, but the fact is I don't abbreviate things incorrectly. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's easier to type in T-O for two instead of two. I mean, it, it just makes reading and makes you sound actually very uneducated. And this guy looks like a grown man. Damn. Um, so he writes this. The only life death is caused by Call of Duty 4, period. It happened to me before, and now... It just happened. I do not know how it happened, but it just happened now. My question is, if you're going to open up a statement stating that it's caused by Call of Duty 4 and that you're disagreeing with my views, but then you say you don't know how it happened, that's a fucking oxymoron. I mean, it was you're going against what you just said. And then you have the nerve to blast my video. I mean, it, it just, it really um, makes me laugh. The fact that some people who tend to hate other people's videos and rate stuff low tend to be uneducated and unknowledgeable about what they're fighting about. Um, now, this is another thing. I just opened up another desktop. As I said, this goes towards my thermal paste. This is a Pentium 4 processor, as you can see here. Now, the paste is completely shot on this. And, you know, and some are saying that this is Arctic Silver. This is not Arctic Silver whatsoever. This cannot be it. Um, and from what I noticed, it's not applied correctly. Now, I know this job I didn't do. Someone else did this job. Um, and this is from a Dell. This is, um, I think, from 2004, this Dell. And I just laugh at how crappy this pasting job was. And of course, yeah, some guys want to know what does the back of a processor look like. Yes, this is what it looks like on the back. Okay, um, now the thing is, some people uh, are questioning, what is this metal that's on there? Is that the chip? No. The metal is what they call a heat spreader. So what it does is it's like a, a miniature heat sink. It's a very mini one. Um, the point is, is that that heat uh, spreader uh, gets to its highest points in a matter of seconds. Um, it gets very hot. That's why you need the heat sink. And the heat sink goes on there, and that's why in between here, so you can see, is where the thermal paste is. So the point is you want a tight as possible seal. Um, because the heat it's generated on this chip here. Now you see I'm actually using props, people. Give me points for that one. Um, once the heat is generated, the paste acts as a seal. Because it's like, um, what do you call it? It's like if, when you're trying to cook, um, boil water. Are you, you're more likely to boil water with a direct flame onto that pot than you are to have the stove uh, flaming and you're holding the pot off the flames. You, you get what I mean? So the fact is, is that when you have a direct seal, it's more likely that the most amount of heat that's generated by this chip, and I mean these shits get fucking hot, will actually be exported or, you know, drawn away from here onto the heatsink. 
The problem with the PS3s and everything, and most computers I've been seeing, is that the fact that the paste dries out because it's not applied correctly. And you can see on this chip is a perfect example. It's not covering the whole chip. And the fact is, is that the heatsink eventually over time will start losing its efficiency. So what happens is on a PS3, you see these pins under here. These are actually, because uh, on a computer you can change these, these pins are out in the open. On a PS3, a Wii, and an Xbox 360, these pins are individually soldered onto a motherboard. So what happens is there's actually balls of solder for every single one. That's why they call it a BGA or ball grid array. Um, so what happens is, the second that, you know, whenever it's generating so much heat on this side of the chip, you know, you know heat rises, it, it generates, if this processor, um, if the thermal paste is shot, the heat sink doesn't absorb the heat, this chip will run hotter than normal, which is happening to the PS3s. So in doing so, the pins on the other side start getting hotter than they're supposed to, which is causing the solder joint cracks because you can see how close it has to be. So what did Microsoft do to, to combat the problem? Well, let's put glue in the corners. So they put glue like here, 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 and here, and I think it's a red um, paste. That, that doesn't do shit because the, the solder will actually still crack. They're thinking, no, oh, because it's moving from heat expansion stuff. It's just the metal temperature. So I, I bring this to you guys, YouTube. The fact is, Sony is such a sneaky, sneaky company that they actually decided to do something and try to pull a fast one on everyone. The original model PS3s, that's the 2060 uh, and original 80s, they are now charging $180 plus tax and plus shipping. They no longer cover shipping anymore to have that refurbished. It used to be $150 and it used to include shipping and everything like that. My whole point is Sony is going to get, you know, I mean, it's... See, I would be more angry if my system yellow light to death, but it hasn't yet. And because that's because I caught the problem before it happened. But Sony really will be feeling the wrath of so many people. The fact that they say, oh, there's no problem, but yet they raise the rates. Um, I don't see how that justifies it. I hope, Sony, that you guys get the pantsuit off you. And I hope that the following policies take place. Receipt policy must be removed because it's unlawful and it's stupid. All repair fees have to be fully reimbursed without any gift certificates. It has to be either check or a debit, prepaid debit card that can be used on anything, not just Sony products. It has to be an extended warranty that covers all yellow light of death issues for three, at least three years, like Microsoft did. And four, fix the freaking problem. Stop using this cheap-ass paste, Sony, because you're not the only guilty one. Other companies do it. So be the better company and stop using it. Actually spend money and buy Arctic Silver 5 or some other metal-based thermal paste and actually apply it correctly because you guys seem to be having a lot of trouble applying paste correctly. Do those following things. Problem solved. If you don't, then you're screwed. So thank you, YouTube, and um, I'll be making a future video soon. Thank you.